Hey, what's up, everybody? Bobby Hilton here, coming to you live on the Shark Stream. And uh, we got a fun day for you today. We got change the names real quick. Uh, we got Jonas Soto Camuno playing all of the Yield Billiards regular folk and challenge matches one rack at a time. Oh, it's gonna be there is no score it's one rack so you don't have to worry about the score you know he is spotting everybody the break And there is the break. Dylan does have a shot, so he may have a chance here. I don't think you're going to have much of an opportunity uh, except for the break and runs against him. This is such a great player. Uh, he is just coming off a fresh fifth place finish in the International Open, beating people like Earl Strickland, Naoki Oi, and a bunch of others. It's a good shot right there by Dylan. All right, guys, I need you guys to get the sharing going. Let's get some numbers up. Let's uh, settle in for this fun, fun early evening here. Get to see one of the best players in the world. He is a top 20 player. And uh, he just told me, actually, that the international is actually the first event <clears throat> for 2023. So he's actually number five in the world right now, if you really want to be technical. Uh, but of overall points, he's at number 20 in the world. So. Fantastic player. All right, and Dylan has a pretty good chance here. <clears throat> All he's got to do is make this nine ball. And uh, again, the pockets are tight on this table, so he's got to squeeze it by and uh, not hit that six. And if he does, he will say he beat the top 20 player in the world in eight ball. And uh, unfortunately, hits the six. And uh, Jonas is at the table. He might have a little bit of trouble with that six ball. See how he decides to play this. And, uh, you know, we are very, very fortunate here to have Jonas. Oh, and he got a little weird on it. He's not happy with that. He's over the ball. And uh, the nine is kind of hanging. So if he doesn't make this, and uh, no problem, center pocket. And uh, just let me know if you guys can hear me, if you can see me all right, you can see Jonas, uh, how the color of the balls, how we looking, how do we sound. And uh, can we get a couple, sh couple shares going, guys? <clears throat> Not that often that we got a top 20 player in the world playing uh, for fun here at a local pool hall in Connecticut. Looks like he's going to try to play the seven here and break up the six. And again, these are tight pocket tables. Look at that shot. Beautiful. And uh, he did get enough to break up the six, so I think he is going to run out. He's going to make this one ball. And, uh, man, you guys are in for a treat, man. This guy can play. Uh, I mean, he got a couple unfortunate rolls against uh, Jason Shaw. And uh, Jason Shaw played almost perfect. And uh, Jason Shaw beat him. But, I mean, besides that, Jonas played absolutely amazing over there in uh, Park, Virginia. He's going to Puerto Rico next. I'm sorry, he's going to be playing at the uh, okay, and there it is. Jonas wins. Very nice. And he 
again, uh, <clears throat> he had his chance there. He broken, he could have broken rear, and he just missed that nine ball. You know, don't forget, this kid Jonas is, is only 20 years old. He's playing at the Snookers event this weekend. Uh, for some reason, it's drawn a blank. I can't remember the name of it. It's a big event. Uh, four or five thousand dollar added, forty five hundred dollar added. Uh, get your name on the table, and uh, he's playing in that this weekend. And he's going to Puerto Rico, and then he's going home actually, uh, Spain to celebrate his birthday. So, and again, it'll come to me. Uh, but it is in Snookers, Rhode Island. Uh, should be an absolute, uh, you know, tester for him coming up. That world eight ball is in uh, Puerto Rico, so that's a world title in Puerto Rico. So Ray Hansen isn't having an event in New England, is he? I don't think so. Not that I'm aware of. Not really sure. And again, this is going to be kind of quick here. Jonas is going to be playing one rack against all of our locals. And uh, this is just a treat I decided to do for my uh, my local players. And uh, looks like they're ready to go. So we'll take that off of there. And again, everybody's getting the break against Jonas. And uh, I mean, uh, this is really, really special. You know, we got a, a, a top 20 player in the world. And uh, we're not even charging any of our guys here just to play. Just uh, come down to Eel Billiards, play in our uh, Monday Night Madness. It's only... $15, and if your team wins, you get $5 back, and uh, or $10, I'm sorry. If you win, you get $5 back, and I uh, get to play a top pro, and it doesn't get better than that. See, all smiles. Everybody knows exactly who he is, and if you follow the shark stream, you know, we've been following him for a while now, and again, he's definitely going to be a world title holder. Obviously, they've been playing a lot together. Mm -hmm. Hoping they both uh, push each other, push each other to get to the next level. Uh, we are playing BCA rules here, so if you make a ball. It only uh, it only matters if you uh, make the next ball called. It's still open table. So Jonas will have an open table here, and it looks like he's going to be playing a low ball because he likes the doesn't like the fifteen ten. I don't believe. Great shot in the right corner. You know, I can't imagine that too many misses. I mean, I know they're four inch pockets, but this kid is an absolute great, great player. And uh, being as young as he is, it's just, you know, the whole, uh, the whole world is kind of at his feet as far as the whole world goes, as far as Moscone Cubs, as far as uh, trying to get down there for six. He might be in a little bit of trouble here. If he does make this eight ball turn, that is a loss. So, oh, very nice uh, from Ibiza. Very nice. Hello. How are you? Look at that shot by Jonas. Great, great shot right there. Didn't even hit the eight ball. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for watching. I don't know if you're a fan of Jonas's, but I know he is uh, definitely spreading the word for us as far as the shark stream uh, in Spain and uh, in that area as well. And I would love to take the shark stream on the road one day and actually head over to Spain. He's already invited me. So what a great bank right there. I mean, it looks like he has a pretty good chance to run out here. He's got to get on the seven ball, which is not easy. He's got to navigate through those balls. And this is a long way to go on this tight table. And no, nope, no problem. Oh, it came a little bit far, though. I have to play the bank here. He is calling it. Cross corner. He is my pupil. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, Jonas with the great run out. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, well, whatever you did there, uh, Tomas, you did a very good job. He's an amazing kid. Uh, a great player as well. 
and uh, he's just uh, absolutely killing it here. We all we all like him, and he just smiles, win or lose. He's just a good kid, and uh, we expect the the world from him. We expect world championships from this guy. What's up, Pack Audio? How you doing? Anybody else out there? Give a shout out. What's going on? Where are you watching from? We do have people all over the world watching. I know uh, a couple people from Japan watch as well. I know we got some Canadians out there as well. Sometimes he needs the bottle. I help him. <laughs> I'm going to tell him he said this. And I, I do remember the picture. I seen your picture in his phone. So I know you're pretty close to him, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I will tell him. Uh, I played a bunch of 10 ball with him uh, the night after my list match. Very nice. Very nice. Philly. All right. Philly. Very nice. Very nice. We got some Texas. All right. We love our Texans. That's for sure. All right. And look at him. Now, this is a kid. He's just, you know, talking to people, regular people about the cues and showing them stuff. And I think that's the cue we actually want. He might be selling. Uh, it's, so how about this? Jonas is... Uh, you know, such a good kid. He's here. He's playing, and we have a charity raffle for a queue. So he says, "Here, give me a ticket, twenty dollars." He buys the ticket. We have over fifty tickets, and he's away. And uh, they pick his name. He actually wins the queue. So now he's actually going to try to sell it uh, for about a thousand. So it's about, I think, three hundred and fifty less retail, and it is brand new. So I think that's what that's what the plan is. So he's trying to sell it. I think he's got a couple people that are interested, but uh. I mean, again, you're going to get 30% off if you get it. It's brand new Jacoby Q. It's got copper on it. It's got the, uh, the nice shaft on it. Jacoby shaft. I think Lucas plays with the Jacoby shaft as well. He's telling the story right now how he's just just trying to be a good guy and donate to the charity and bang he won the queue. He couldn't believe it when I FaceTimed him and called him he won. He couldn't believe it. We're just waiting for our next help Jonas to improve his English language. Uh, I am actually. We are working with him, and uh, he's doing great. He really is. I mean. Uh, it's funny, if I give him something to read, like, it's very long, he'll still want to translate it into Spanish, uh, <laughs> and uh, try to uh, translate it in Spanish, so he'll put it on the computer just to translate instead of trying to read it in American. He just doesn't trust his uh, American uh, eyeballs yet completely, but um, we're working on him. I appreciate that. <laughs> we'll help you out a little bit. But uh, he's speaking a lot of English here. And uh, he's funny when he when he learns uh, when he has a word he's not sure of he'll Google it put his Spanish word in and get in English and then say you know the word he wants to say he's pretty uh, he's pretty good at it so he's definitely trying that's for sure. All right, he needs to get his matches going. He's got a lot of matches to play. Let's go, let's go there, Jonas. Somebody said we can't get in on YouTube, uh, but I see Lance B from Philly. He's watching on YouTube. Anybody out there from YouTube? Give me a shout out. Let me know if you can hear me on YouTube. Uh, Dave Bobby said it's not up on YouTube. So any of my listeners out there, let me know. YouTube. Here's Jonas just talking away. Time to get the business there, Jonas. We got matches to play. We're on the air, you know. All right, there you go. Oh, here's a spine on YouTube. So it must be uh, the other gentleman. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. So it must be him. 
Well, while we got a few seconds, what do you guys think about uh, what do you guys think about this uh, Moscone Cup in Earl of Pearl Strickland? Anybody got any opinions on that? Obviously, what's done is done. He is on the team, but a lot of people are not happy that he was uh, <clears throat> he was picked. Uh, but a lot of people are happy. Uh, ecstatic here on the Shark Stream. We're we're more than ecstatic. We are. Uh, uh, we're possibly going to be a sponsor on his shirt, and uh, you know we're very happy for him. Uh, we know him a little bit, and he's such a great guy, and we know he's a great player, and uh, he can hang with anybody. So, you know, Jack Trance, he says, "Love Earl, good, good, good for him." Yep, uh, I like the pick. He got hosed last time. Yeah, he did. Uh, it was it was such a bad raw deal last time. I mean. He didn't even have COVID. He was just in a plane where somebody had tested positive for COVID. So he just, it was a, a rough time. And he was going out there in America. Just obviously our energy was really low going out there uh, because we didn't have everybody in tune. He wasn't there. So, uh, you know, now he's going to be there. He's going to be fired up, rounding up the troops. All right, and Jonas is again just talking away. I know he's got another match really soon. These are all one match setups. I think he's got 19 people to play. I think he's got two people, three people in the books. So, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, we're going to see at least another 14, 15 racks from him. And uh, I can imagine that's only going to be about 14, 15 shots, not too many innings. He doesn't miss too much, even on the tight table. Uh, Jack Tuansky, it's a Jacoby. Uh, I can't remember the series. It's a uh, one that's uh, it's got the copper in it, and the value is thirteen fifty sticker retail price. The sticker's still on it. It was donated for the play for Shea, and uh, if you look it up online, it is thirteen fifty, and it has copper on it. And again, I think it has the the night shaft. Is that what it's called? Uh, the Jacoby night shaft, and that's what Lucas plays with. And I think he's trying to get a thousand for it. And again, it retails for thirteen fifty. Let's go to a different camera angle and see if I can see what's going on here. Okay. I know somebody's got to play him too. Looks like we got another contestant coming up, so we're gonna put the cue away and uh, get get down to business. Friendly handshake, and he's going to be playing uh, Wayne Harriman, one of our uh, great sponsors here on the Shark Stream. Um, <clears throat> an absolute lover of the game. He actually uh, plays all our pros here. He's played Efren. He's played Naoki, I believe. He's played almost everybody. And, uh, he's a good player, so he is, he's racking. So I don't know if he's going to let Jonas break. I'm pretty sure Jonas is, is breaking. I mean, I'll give him the break, so... And if you guys want to listen to Earl, you can go back and listen to my interview with Earl. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get him almost less than a day before, right after he got picked. So we we're almost an exclusive. Earl Wayne is going to break here. Go to Longview. And uh, see. The stream is out of Wallingford, Connecticut. Uh, it's called the Shark Stream. And uh, we do a lot of pro events, and uh, we're trying to get our name out there to do even bigger events. I mean, we've had names like Efren Reyes, uh, Naoki Oi, Earl Strickland's a, a local here. Uh, not a local, but, a, a, you know, he plays here uh, a bunch. We're actually doing a clinic with Earl Strickland uh, in the first week of December, right after the Moscone Cup. So uh, we have a lot of pros at Allison Fisher here, and uh, we do a lot of amateur events as well. So we're fortunate enough to uh, pick up Jonas here, and he's here hanging out. And I said, hey, will you do me a favor? Can you play my locals in a, in a league match? And he said, absolutely. So gracious enough to let everybody break here. And you know, he's trying to beat them all. He'll take a picture with you if you want. If you want to sign something, I'm sure he'll do that. Okay, 
And of course, we already or have uh, uh, Lucas Picasso Werner, who's a, a pro as well, a low end pro, uh, but he's making a name for himself as well. So, got some really good players that play out of here in Connecticut. Jack, thank you very much for that. Appreciate that. Jack giving the Shark Stream a shout out. It's a good shot by Wayne. It's a little draw stroke on it. He's got a little bit of trouble on this two ball. Trouble ball right there. Might be able to try to break it here if he can get around that nine. What he tried to do, he didn't quite get it, but he's going to have another chance. Another chance here. It's a trouble ball right there. <clears throat> Let me try to cut this in and maybe try to get a cue ball whack on it. Whack a couple of 11, 9, 14 or something. All right, no go. So Jonas at the table, not wide open, but every ball has a pocket. He says, if you don't know about the shark stream, you're missing out. Uh, thanks a lot, Jack. We're uh, doing everything we can to grow the sport, for sure. And Jonas does not decide to hit that 12 ball, so he's going to try to play position for the corner. Might try to draw back here or draw into it. Draws it back nicely. And again, you guys are, this is an absolute treat. You're talking one of the best players in the world, top 20. Only 20 years old, and uh, you're getting to see him play some eight ball. The strategy, you know, again, the competition is nothing near what he's used to, but he is, uh, I say that he almost gets into trouble, but he's going to be okay here. He's going to make this and draw back and play the 11. Normally, we split teams up on this Monday night, and it's called Monday Night Madness, and we split it up. and. The highest team total wins. Uh, so tonight we had an odd number, so we let Jonas play on both teams. So this way, everybody is going to get a chance to play him. And uh, again, this is absolutely free. He'll lose putting this on for free. And uh, go out there and see how many other streams <laughs> you're uh, having a top 20 player play your locals for free. Not too many, that's for sure. Pat says, I will say that Jonas is one of the nicest guys I've met. Great player, and he is willing to give all kinds of advice if you just ask him. We played a bit last night. He gave me a pointer or two. Such a cool thing. Yeah. And Porto replying saying, what, Pat? Right, so... Again, just, just share the button, guys. Just hit the share. Uh, there might be some people out there that want to watch this young superstar. Uh, you can mark my words. Bobby Hilton, 2022, saying Jonas will be a world title holder in the near future. Uh, he plays definitely good enough. And, uh, he just keeps learning. He gets, he's played, I think he played in you know, almost every event he could this year. So and he's continuing to do that as well. <laughs> that he says Joe uh, Porto's okay too. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, Porto's one of the nicest guys. He's swearing at you, Pat. Uh, and there's our local sponsors uh, flashing across the screen right now. As you can see, those without the sponsors, we wouldn't be doing what we do here. That's for sure. We are very, very fortunate. There's a good amount of sponsors, local, and a couple big ones, and uh, that's why we're able to give you the. go give you these great events here 
All right, Greg Hodder is up right now. Dillard's dad. Another nice guy, good player. Again, we have the opportunity to play a world-class player for free at your own home room. Priceless. Thank you very much, Shared. Appreciate that. And he says, share to the world. Please like and share and donate. Absolutely. Donate if you can. You know, we're taking our money. We're putting our money where our mouth is. We're putting it back out there. We're trying to get this stream more popular for you guys and for us. Doing everything we can. Please continue. Right. It looks like he's going to be breaking dry here. That's not a good sign when you're playing a top level player. And uh, again, Jonas is going to survey the table. How are you doing, Andy? It's one of the biggest sponsors here. And he uh, helped us out with the cameras and stuff. And, and, uh, and look at the colors on these cameras. They are absolutely beautiful. Shark stream has never been so clear, that's for sure. And uh, he says, Lucas is still my man. Uh, Lucas would, I, you know, here's the thing, Andy. If Lucas was uh, here today, I probably would have played them against each other so that they could have uh, uh, played everybody on the team. And uh, But Lucas's anniversary, him and Alex today, two years, so they're going out to dinner. And uh, What a great shot there by Jonas. You know, has a good shot and a nice angle here to get position for the dive. A little straighter than he wanted to be, but nice shot. This 11 ball is a little tricky, so let's see how he plays it. He's going to go two rails, come just past the side pocket. Two or three rails or side. Oh, just enough. Perfect position there. Gonna play one real position for this 10 ball. Gonna try to get the 10 to the 12. Forward a little bit. Switch hands. Go opposite handed here. And again, guys, he's playing on a four-inch table pocket, and he's making it look like child's play. Unbelievable. Look at it. He fires it inside our pocket. And he almost takes down another victim. Brian Carroll wants to know how the shark stream is getting the scoops. <laughs> now, Brian, uh, Brian, uh, kicking chicken. Now, you know, a good, uh, a good, uh, Announcer is never going to give away their sources, so <laughs> never give away our sources. We definitely hit the nail on the head with that one, didn't we? Shark Stream heard it first. Earl Strickland was going to be picked. We let you guys know as soon as we knew. And uh, fortunately for us, it came to fruition, and then we were lucky enough to get Earl the Pearl live on the Shark Stream with a cute, with a cool interview. Brian, say hello to everybody. All right, this is Mike the Vet. Mike is going to be breaking. Jonas is allowing everybody to break. And if he doesn't make a ball, that might be it. Uh, but this is a little tough, actually. This is a little tough. He's got a couple weird balls here. And he's pointing to him. He's like, I don't like the mess. See how he says? He goes, I got Jonas needs to change it up a little bit. Would sabotage eight ball while local players normal meeting and shooting in order. <laughs> uh, Mike, yeah, I would definitely do that, but he's got uh, 20 people he's got to play. And uh, oh, there's a miss. Uh, that's a, how about that? See that? Uh, Mike said, uh, he said, Jonas said, Mike, I don't need a going order. I can't run him out regular. Did Joe get around to using this new toy colors? Yes, Joe. Can you tell? I mean, uh, can you tell? Well, these colors look magnificent. These colors are absolutely unbelievable. 
All right, Mike the vet. Looks like he's going for high ball, a low ball here. He's gonna try to play the two. And that's a swing and a miss. Not gonna be happy about that. Gonna to talk to himself a little bit. Now Jonas is gonna have another opportunity here. Again, this is not an easy rack. But Mike might get back into the table here. Jonas trying to get to that five ball, I think. Or the one ball. Uh, the one ball. He's gonna to try to crank out that seven right here. No, he's not. He's gonna draw it back. Now he's gonna shoot the two ball. He's gonna to have to get the seven out at some point. Uh, but again, you know, for you guys, anybody out there that's watched the shark stream, uh, can you notice a difference in the colors of the tables? Because uh, along with the cameras, we had an, uh, a new system that we added uh, to enhance the color. So I want to make sure you guys can notice it. You, you see the colors like these are the these are the blacks before you couldn't even tell which ball was which. Now I can tell clearly which balls, which even an eight ball, which is, I think is amazing. Going for a bank here. How about that, folks? How about that? And he's got a beautiful angle here for this six ball. Maybe not. He's going to have to stretch a little bit. He's going to try to squeeze right between those two balls. And he didn't get it. So now he's uh, holding his head on. No. Yes, Jason Shaw played here as well. Uh, I was just going through the list of all the pros that played here on the Shark Stream. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know, um, you can go to YouTube or Facebook and look at all of our great players we had here. We've had uh, Jason Shaw, Earl Strickland, Miyuki Oi, Efren Reyes, Allison Fisher. So many good players here. On the shark stream, of course, we had uh, Jonas Caputo and Lucas Picasso Werner. Uh, and we also had uh, Francisco Bustamante and Alex Pegulain. So, I mean, there's so many players that we had. Uh, once we get Gorst and uh, Fedor uh, and uh, Filler, a couple other good players, we can have them all. And that's a good save right there by Mike. You have to play the bank. It looks like he can. Just to jack up a little bit, he wants to throw it. In YouTube, you might need to change your quality settings and video settings, guys. He's watching at 1080, but auto goes to 1040. And how about that for a bank shot? Let's watch that play again. About this folks beautiful shot right there and all he's gonna do is slow roll this and uh, it's gonna be another victim for the fifth place finisher at the international this year and of course he is playing with a predator Q he is sponsored by predator so Gives a high five to to Mike the vet, and again, guys, you know, let's get the sharing out there. Let's get, let these guys watch these numbers. All right, Pat, let's not give Joe any more ideas. <laughs> Slow motion for the camera. Come on now, Jonas, waiting for his next victim. I think we got everything going the way we want as far as cameras and stuff like that right now. Or our next thing is uh, trying to figure out who we're going to have next. We got our clinic with Earl Strickland in December. And it looks like we are ready to rock and roll, guys. Oh, here he goes playing the man, Terry Taylor. For those of you guys who do not know Terry Taylor, he is my father in law. Uh, he is the one that helped in this business with me uh, about 30 years ago. <laughs> yes, 30 years ago. And uh, he's checking his rack. <laughs> he's being funny now. And uh, 
And uh, but Terry's a great player. He's been around a long time, and uh, you know, have him still here playing with us, hanging out is. Uh, and he's looking. He's just he's just showing up now. Terry's having a little fun. But uh, I mean, I don't know if Terry's ever envisioned what we're doing here. Uh, when we opened, I know it's bigger and, and uh, better than I've ever thought of it. But he's got to be very very proud of what he uh, he started. Did, he did an amazing job when we first opened this place and taught me so much about business and how to run a business and what to do. Very cool. All right. He is a right-handed person, but he plays uh, left-handed, which is kind of unorthodox. Price out a slow-motion camera. <laughs> All right, Andy, we'll do that. Uh-oh. There's a miss. And uh, Jonas got a little bit of trouble again on this seven ball. So he's going to have to break up the seven at some point. And if there's anything, anything you guys want to know, want to ask me, please let me know. Um, I can ask Jonas if you want. I'm going to be talking to Earl over the next couple of days again. If you have any questions about the shark stream, about what we do here, or anything, look at that shot. What a great shot by Jonas. Perfect breakout. Now we can just slide this ball across and play the two ball next. And uh, pretty much run the rack. Six, I think, has a pocket. Let's stop it right here and play the five or the six next. He's just... It's like he went a little far, so he's going to have to play the five. Then he's going to play the three. And he might play the six in the side, or is he going to come forward and try to play the six in the same pocket? See how he decides to play it. That's exactly what he's trying to do. And uh, Jonas, perfect. He's going to draw this back to the rail, I believe. Oh, he went forward. Great shot. Island. Look at him he's showing off now. He tried to he tried to go four rails. All right, Terry's gonna have an opportunity here. And of course, Jonas knows Terry a little bit um, because uh, he's obviously staying with me, and, and uh, actually we stay with uh, we have an in-law apartment. Terry stays with us as well, so he knows Terry a little bit. It's made me a little bit more nice here trying that bank shot there. Everybody else, I too, he's just kind of running out. Let's see here. What's in the case of Jonas also early? He says they do great in YouTube. I like Earl in the bag. Yeah, I, I like the what's in the bag. I just don't want to steal somebody's idea. I really, I really do like that though. And uh, when when they play events here, we do, uh, especially Brian Kick and Chicken. You know, he'll make sure he makes a list of exactly what people have in their bag so we can go over it on the air. But I know he has all Predator stuff. That's a fact because obviously he's sponsored by Predator, so I can tell you that. I know he's got the Blue Peak BK Rush, and I'm not sure which model he plays with for B, for a Predator, but I know he has a couple. All right, Jonas up the table looking for a bank shot here. Is he going to go cross corner or cross side? He's going to go the double, he's going to try the two railer. He's going to try the two railer here. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> look at that, how about that? Oh man, we got to watch that one again. There off the 14 ball, just like that. The double bank is good. Thank you guys for watching Shark Stream, guys. Uh, again, we got a little treat here for you. This is Jonas Sudo Camuto just coming off a top five finish in a major event in Norfolk, Virginia. 
here playing with the locals here at Yale Billiards and uh, no charge. No charge for the stream, no charge to play in the one rack. So, very cool. We're very excited about what we're offering here. And uh, I hope and I know the players appreciate it. I know I, I, uh, very excited about it because these guys are, you know, good to us and they've been treating Yale Billiards, his family, for a long time. And we're able to share Jonas with him with a couple players, uh, a couple games. Awesome stuff, man. So, I'm Lisa Zanj, manager at Yale Billiards. Come join us on the Shark Screen. Colby. I'm Reed, founders of Salado. Join us on the Shark Screen. Scott Lubbock, join us on the Shark Screen. Alex Kazakis, join us on the Sun Screen. Hi, I'm Nick Kroll, owner of Viking Q's. We want you to join us on the Shark Screen. Jason Shaw, join us on the Shark Screen. Hello, my name is Christina Touch. Join us on the Shark Screen. Hi, I'm Jose Prembata Reyes. Hey, I'm Earl Strickland. Join us on the Shark Stream. I'm Bobby Hilton, the owner of Yale Billiards. Join us on the Shark Stream. All right, we're getting ready to play another rack. Get to see Jonas Camuno play one rack at a time. And I'm sure the pace is going to pick up a little bit here. And all the people playing in the Monday Madness tonight, all 20 of them get a chance to play Jonas for one way. Absolutely free. Here's the break. Nothing goes on the break. We have to send you the VID files for everybody saying join us in the shark stream so I can clean it up. Transition, I'll touch up so we can get it done. Jeremy, that would be awesome. Um, definitely Joe would like to do that as well, I'm sure. I just did that video. I was thinking the same thing as well. And uh, you know, we're 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 still a small outfit, man. We're just starting up, trying to do a lot of big things here. And uh, we're learning as we go, so is it hard enough though with this? I don't know if you can see that or not. I think you can It's broken up, but now his opponent has an opportunity to take it to him. Green plus Tom's my gig. Oh, that's awesome, Jeremy. 
Very cool. Absolutely. Uh, Joe does great with almost everything, so I'm sure you could uh, let him know or, or let me know, and that would be great. Let me know when you can do it. That's much, much appreciated. Waiting to shoot here way as you can see right there of course we got a couple cameras so you can always see what's going on and uh, patiently right now to finish up so he can shoot his low ball he's got a pretty good open table here Got poked from another table. So as you see, it's a busy night here on Monday night here at Yale Billiards. We always got a lot of things going on. And this is our Monday Madness. And uh with our Monday Madness here with Jonas, of course, it's gonna be a little busier than normal. If we get a chance to play the champ. I'm off a little bit, trying to get in the side. And uh, Jonas back at the table. Looks like he's going to play the 10 first. He's going to have to make that 11 at some point. It looks like he's going to make it second. If he doesn't, unless he goes too far. Surprise, he's not playing the 11 here. I think he was playing position for that other ball, so that was the ball he was going to shoot. And follow us forward, two rails, right spin. One, two. I think, uh, I think he's going to follow this forward as well. Wait, he's got another high ball. He's got another high ball. He doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. <laughs> he's got an 11 ball. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> there you go. Jonas takes the loss down. How about that? How about that, folks? Jonas. Not used to shooting the ball, not used to shooting the the, the blacks, and he, he missed the ball there. You're gonna, I think that's going to eat away at him a little bit. He's going to take it out on the next person. I, uh, I can feel it. I can feel it. Hello, how are you? Are you live? Are you live? We're live, man. We are live. Come on in. Come on in. So, on? Uh, so what happened is Jonas shot the eight ball out of turn. That's a loss. <laughs> he he forgot he had the eleven ball. Oh, that's why he's explaining now. Yeah, he's they're gonna and, and Jenna's gonna politely tell him that you lost. He lost. I did a clap and. Oh, that's so well, there he goes. He takes down Jonas. He's got a little smile on his face. How about that? Let me go claim now. I'm gonna claim now. <laughs> stay here. Huh? Stay here with Bob. Stay here. Stay in there. So Jonas takes his first loss down. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Huh? Who would have thought that would happen? I know, right? Unbelievable. So I think whoever he plays next is gonna be uh he's gonna be fired up now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this will be a challenge. Those alarms are so it's true. Jake up? Yeah, he's up now. Wow. It's like, okay. Everyone's playing Jonas tonight, right? Everybody, yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And who, who's joining it's me in the booth? This is Danielle. Hi, Danielle. How are you? <laughs> All right. And uh, Shake is going to play Jonas. All right. Let's play see Jonas. how this goes. I'm good to go. <laughs> I have visited your bar, so I am. Oh, very nice. Hopefully our bartenders took care of you there. Yes, you do. Awesome sauce. All right. So now again, Jonas is just coming off a loss. I think he's going to be a little fired up. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go for the high balls. That's one down. <laughs> he does look a little more serious than he did he the last does. couple racks, right? Serious, yeah. I, I think his... Uh, that last game really uh, shook him a little bit. 
I don't think Shake's going to have a chance. I think he might clear this table. We'll have to see. I don't see any trouble. The Levin's a little trouble, so he might be able to have a little issue with the Levin. You see, he may try to get it out right here. Boom. No, he's going to try to play the Levin inside. It's not going to be. He's going to be playing for the corner. It looks like he's coming around. Thank you for joining us in the booth today. Of course. I wouldn't miss it. Yes, it's pretty cool that he's able to play all the players, right? Yeah. So exciting. He used to have too hard, so he's going to have to play the nine now, I think. Okay. He's won it. He's pointing in position, so he's trying to get the cue ball back over there so he can make the 11 in the same pocket. Boom. Oh, he didn't get it. Well, wow, he's okay. He's going to make the 11 side. Nice try, Shake. <laughs> shake, you did good. You shake. broke well. Definitely not go after a loss. So. No. <laughs> no. It's no. not the best idea. No, definitely not. You can see his demeanor. He's still smiling at a little bit now, but he's... He's still quite serious. And he plays in his... Oh, he's good there. That's a wrap. And Who's the next victim? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There is one guy that it didn't beat him. It might be uh, Crystal. Crystal might be coming up. Just the way be coming up. What do you think Shake's saying out there? I think he's saying, damn, I shouldn't have went after a loss. <laughs> I should have definitely took him while he was just. So now Teddy's up. All right, so Teddy's got a chance here to uh, answer for uh... what happened. Look, we were watching, we were talking the game. I broke. And then he ran. <laughs> I still let him break. Because, you know, you're professional. Like, if you break, you get nothing in. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much over. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, everything was spread out. So, yeah. It good. broke well. It was a good break. Yeah. No, it was a good break. Yeah. yeah. It was spread out nice because, you know. I mean, you, you shouldn't. Know. You were talking about it. You shouldn't have played him after the loss. Yeah, because he's so fired up after that. Oh, yeah. Sure, I should. Like, he tried a three reel or on Terry earlier. Oh, oh. I see what you mean. That yeah. was a, he didn't. He wanted. To, yeah, he wanted to be, beat me back. Yeah. To get, <laughs> he wanted to beat the other guy that he just yeah. lost to. So let's see if Teddy. That's a good break too. It's wide open. Yeah, it's a good break too. Yeah, really good break. He, oh, you want, every he wants, he wants the stripe, so he definitely wants the stripes. I know. I think he likes the low ball. No. No, I think the stripe in the center. Cause okay. Because that's the trouble ball, but it goes in there. No, but the nine and fifteen are a little weird too. See, oh, he's a little trouble now. He's in trouble. He's a little. With me, <laughs> you played him right out to the loss. <laughs> he was dialed in. This guy was up there ready to play, and I should let him play. Teddy, yeah, yeah, yeah Teddy. Oh. Trying to break it up. I think he was trying to break up the eight there, Shake. Oh. Yeah, and he was. Let's, he let's was. go look and see if the eight goes. The eight might possibly go. I don't think so. No, I think he was trying to break it up because those two were. He's in trouble here. He's going for the kick. Massé, he's going for Massé. Or jump. Yeah, he jumped wow. it. How about that? Let's check it. Oh, Let's do a replay on that one. Yeah, he jumped Over. it. Watch it. That was amazing. Yeah. Whoa. Effortless. Oh, he jumped it. Yeah. The full clue was because he was so far away. The jump cue wasn't going to be long enough. So now Teddy, Teddy's at the table. You know, he's pretty, oh, he already, Teddy already missed. I mean, no, I mean, yeah. Jonas is still on the yeah. table after okay. making that jump shot. Yeah. Oh, is he going to have a shot here? Oh, look, and he can break the eight off. Perfect oh, angle. Yeah, so How about that? Down. Yeah, he can break the eight off. He just so wish. Oh, he missed it. Oh, and he knows it missed it. He knows it missed it. Oh, now the guy's got a chance because they're all over the pocket. Yeah. They're all spread out. And he'll break, the, he'll break the two off the eight as well now. He's got to call it, so we'll see where he can for the player. Can he get it in here? Can he, can he hit it in such a way to get the eight in here? Off the one, maybe. Right? Possibly. Yeah, he could play it off the one. I would. Play it off. Possibly go to lose. I would. I think that's the only chance he has. Exactly what he's looking at. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know what's he got to do. got to call something. A 
How awesome is this, huh? Shake, mm. you gotta, he's like, no, he's not. He was, he was number 20, right? He he's came number in, 20. Was he 16 or 20? No, he came in fifth. Fifth, oh, shit. He's top 20 in the world right now. And if you technically, he just put the first event, that, or the last event they just played in, yeah. was the first event for technically 2023. He's number five in the world right now. Wow. How about that? Nice. Well, Jason did well, though. Jason. Jason played almost perfect the yeah. last three matches. And uh, when he played Jonas, he played so good, and yeah. he had a couple roles, too. Yeah. But he just... Wow, that's one I'd like to see. Yeah. Look, look, Teddy, Teddy missed that. Teddy missed that. I can't believe Teddy missed that one. But Jonas is going to take this one down as well. He's blowing him down. I think he's like 9-1 and one so far. He's got another 10 players to go. But, but I think it's pretty cool to get to play a pro. You know, don't talk hey, about that. You just come down Teddy and play him. Here. He's enjoying himself. He yeah. doesn't mind playing anyone. But he, li he likes to... If you want to play him, you know, some inexpensive sets, I'm sure he'll play with you. He was hitting, he was hitting yesterday, you know, just hanging around. And I came to play a little bit. And I think Alvin, I said, Alvin, do you want to play a few games? He said, oh, i got to give him a ride. Point to Jonas. I said, Jonas, where do you live? He said, Spain. I said, I, you need to take over to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't understand, you know, because English is not 100%. No. So I, I said, Jonas, Spain, no, no good, too far. <laughs> where do you live? He said, I live Bobby. Yeah. Stay with you, right? Yeah, stay with me. Yeah, stay with me. I think that's why I try to, because Terry lives with us too. So I think he knows Terry was trying to bank a ball at Terry. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen him mess around at all besides yeah. that one yeah. shot. So he's taking it pretty serious, except yeah. he shot the wrong ball. <laughs> I yeah. can't wait to talk to him about that. <laughs> We're going to ask him what happened in that game. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro, because those, those are the balls they're used to playing with yeah. all the time in tournaments, right? Yeah, and he's playing in a, a world title 10 ball in Puerto Rico next week oh, or two weeks. Oh, he's going in there? Two weeks, yeah. I wish I could go. He asked me to go, but I just, yeah, he asked me to go. Like, I would love to go. I already went to Atlantic City, then I just, I went oh, yeah. there. My, my wife for a third yeah. year, so I've been yeah. going. I just kind of saw. I was playing Robert now. You could do whatever you want. I could, yeah, but. <laughs> You bear, no. <laughs> Shout out to the Harford Hustler. What's up, Troy? How you doing? And uh, the game is 8-Bar Orlando. It's my buddy Orlando's driving around a truck. Who knows where he is right now, but uh, I know he's watching. And uh, they're playing 8-Ball. It's the Monday night in-house, and it's called Monday Madness. And it's basically uh, you come in, you play uh, one rack, and you get one ball, one point for every ball that you make. 8-Ball's worth three. So when Jonas lost, he lost uh, 10 uh, What did he lose? 10 to nothing. I don't know. That's a good question. I saw a lot of balls on the table. <laughs> well, no, the he other went... guy had, but he only had one because he left one, so he oh, lost he... ten to one. Yeah, I think so. So he lost no, to ten to yeah. ten and ten to seven. Ten to six. Ten six. Ten six. Ten six. It's like uh, Who's he? oh, he's not playing. I thought he was playing Robert. Rob Speck. Hmm. Is it Rob Speck? I actually get out there. He probably won me like where am I to play? I still have. Two more matches. Oh, okay. All right. So, all right. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we'll see you later. Thank Good you. Good morning. Thanks. All right. Goodbye. All right. We're getting ready to play another rack. All right, and this is not Rob Speck, so he's playing a, uh, another gentleman. I'm not sure of his name. He's got the eight ball with the football helmet on it. Looks pretty cool. And he's going to be breaking. All right, nothing goes. Wide open table for Jonas. And 13 is a little tied up, but I'm sure he can navigate around that. I think that's what he's looking at right now. Again, he's not playing with, you know, pro caliber players, but hopefully help him out a little bit, get him in stroke for his uh, eight ball championship. And there it is. He just gets the one ball out like that. Uh, not where he wanted it to be, but at least it's away from that 13 ball. Play the two ball here. He's got to come back to that five as well. I think 
he's definitely a little bit of a crowd, you know, starting to watch him a little bit. And again, it's not that often. And the look at that breakup shot. He did tie up the eight ball a little bit, but got the one out of there. Know how does he get uh how does he get that eight ball out of there? Draw it right now. It looks like he's gonna he's gonna take his medicine and play a bank on the on the eight ball. Got to come up table for the five. Got to bank the five as well. All right, Orlando's in Fort Myers, Florida. We miss you, man. Look at that. Oh, just misses. We miss you, Orlando. We got this young kid from Spain. He's trying to teach me Spanish. I'm teaching him English. And uh, we're having a good old time. This kid's a good kid. Great player. Going to be a world champion real soon. And look at that shot right there. All right. And he's pretty wide open here. Going to play the nine ball. Play one real position if he wants. That's exactly what he did. And uh, Jonas has a chance here to maybe lose his second game of the night. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Tell your brother we said hello as well. On the road again, man. You're always all over the place. Enjoying life. All right, he's a little tricky here. Get position and make the shot. Got to watch out for the side pocket. Wow, fantastic shot right there. That was a big shot. Again, I don't know this gentleman. I've seen him before, but you know, maybe he's here just to play Jonas, and he figures, uh, you know, the pro is here. Let me come down and play in this Monday Madness thing. And he has a good chance here to run out. He's going to draw this ball back a little bit. Oh, he got a little too much angle on it. He's got to, he's got to make a tough cut and he's got to watch the cue ball. He's going to lose control of the cue ball a little bit. Tough cut here. Watch the cue ball. Oh no. All right, buddy leaves leaves him really tough. Jonas is gonna have to work for this one for sure. Look at that. What a great shot. I mean again, those are four inch pockets he's fired him into. And he's perfect for this eight ball. Again, you know, this is an absolute treat you guys are getting to see here. This is a, you know, top 10, top 20 player in the world. A young, young kid that's just, you know, getting better and getting better. You know, him and Lucas hopefully going to push each other and uh, drive each other's game up. You know, not forget Lucas by any means. Uh, but obviously, uh, you know, we don't see Jonas that much. So uh, we're able to see him and, and really enjoy him and uh, take advantage of whatever we can from this kid. All right, Robert Specht is going up now. He's going to be breaking against Jonas. I know Jonas is sharing the shark stream over there in Spain as well. And I think Robert was actually one of the first people that Jonas gave a lesson to when he came out. Uh, Connecticut, so he knows him a little bit. Surveying the table, looks like he's going to play the low ball. So the one seven are going to be a little bit of a problem. Yeah, the kid's from Spain, and uh, he's going to be here. He's going to be playing in Snookers, Rhode Island, this weekend, and then he's going to be going to uh, Puerto Rico for his last event. 
for this year, and then he's going to go home, and his kid's only going to be turning 21 on December 8th. So we're going to obviously wish him a huge happy birthday when that comes. Uh, great breakup right there. Perfect. Beat control is awesome. And again, I can't, man, the colors on these balls are just really blowing me away. I really haven't sat in the booth in a while, but man, oh man, these colors are just popping. You can tell what color every single ball is. Absolutely amazing. Oh, Robert, having a chance here. Take him down, Rob. Let's see if any of those lessons that Jonas gave him paid off here. Latest 10 ball on the side. A little too much left spin, or yeah, left spin on the on the Gamora straight off the rail. So everybody, we got Earl Strickland as our number five. I think he was uh, the best pick. I think he is, uh, you know, has the most experience. Uh, you know, I, I think he's, I think he's the best player right now. Um, Lucas actually, he didn't do that well in, in the nine ball. He went out one, two, uh, but in the one pocket, he almost cashed. He came in a 16th in the one pocket event and uh, they paid the top uh, 12. So if he had one more win, he lost Hill Hill, he would have been in the cash. So Lucas is uh, doing fantastic. Unfortunately, he didn't um, make any cash or he didn't play his best in a nine ball, but one pocket, he played magnificent. Hey, what's going on, Hector? How are you doing, man? Good to see you here on the Shark Stream. Looks like he's going for the bank. Just like so. Perfect position. And again, man, you know, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but you guys are in for a treat. This guy is top 20 in the world. Right now, top 20 in the world. And uh, all of our locals here are getting to play him for free. You know, and I told everybody to shake his hand, and I would take the take my picture with him too, because you know this kid is going to be a superstar. Uh, I don't know how many titles he's going to win in his lifetime, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a couple. Uh, that'd be cool, Hector. I miss you, man. I haven't seen you in a long time. I hope you're doing well. I know you're uh, still caught in hair, right? Hope everything's good. I don't know if you're playing league, is league or not as well. So. But I'll definitely come on down to Yale Billiards, Hector. We miss you for sure. All right, looks like we are ready to go. So we are wasting no time here. No time at all. Bang, bang, bang. Racket for himself here. There's our local sponsors going right by. And if you want to check out any of our sponsors, please go to our Facebook page. We have uh, listings of all of our sponsors. And it looks like we're getting ready to break here. And it's almost time for some Monday Night Football as well. Go behind him and see how, how he breaks these balls up here. No. The re-break, he can re-break that. I'm going to step out. I'll be right back.
and he's playing Mike Marzik right now. Mike Marzik, one of the local guys here at EL Billiards, again, playing Jonas. Jonas has six more matches after this. All right, there's the break. It looks like he made a high ball. So, and another ball. So he's got five balls to make and the eight ball. Let's see how he handles it. But it is Monday night, so we're using BCA rules. So he can shoot the slow ball if he wants. Looks like that's what he's going to do. I mean, all the balls have a pocket here, so I think a low ball is a better choice. Left himself a little longer than he wanted to. Got to be over the ball as well. Cross and bank this and leave him safe. Or is he going to try to slow roll the one? I would slow roll the one. And if you miss, maybe try to block the nine ball with the one ball. And if you make it, you still, you still should have the two and seven. So. Like that's what he's gonna do. He's gotta hit this easy or doesn't want to hit it hard. A little harder than he wanted to. He makes that counts. All you do is call the ball in the pocket. Actor says still cutting here. Playing on Tuesday nights. Think I'm doing a double jeopardy out of Yale. That'd be awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Mike Marzik doing the side. Oh man. Gonna get the seven ball. Robert says it looks like all solid balls. Come on, Rob. The clarity is amazing on these cameras now. I can actually tell which ball is which, even the high balls. Unbelievable. Oh, no. And uh, uh, 13 balls, a little funny. So. Let's see how he makes his way. He's going to try the 14, slide it over for the 9. Not a problem. Draw this ball back for the 11. Okay. Looks like he drew it a little too much. Unless he's playing the bank here. Looks like that's what he's going to do. Weird angle here. Oh, he's, playing the, 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 he's playing the triple bank, guys. There it is. One, two. <laughs> How about that? How about that? We got to show that on replay, guys. Beautiful shot right there by Jonas. Wow. And uh, he misses the next shot, so Mike's going to have an opportunity. But nevertheless, it was a great double bank in the side. It's like he's going to play a safe. He's going to roll this cue ball right behind that four ball. Robert Lewis, I'm 9,000 miles away. I know you are. You're doing everything you can to enjoy yourself. I can see them clearly, even from Manila. That's awesome. Appreciate that, Rob. Hope you're having a good time. Rob Lewis, one of the beat reporters from the Shark Stream, always uh, sharing a lot of good things. And uh, Jonas is in a little bit of a pickle here. <clears throat> Let's go behind him, see how he's looking. I don't like that angle here. All right, here we go. <laughs> Looks like he can jump this five ball. But he's trying to jump it. Oh, Mike Marzik with a golden opportunity. That's right. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button if you like that great bank shot. 
You know, what do you guys think? How do the balls look? Can you tell the colors? I know the blacks are a little weird, but even eight ball, but we have this new color thing that's working fantastic. I can tell them all. Um, Mike with a golden opportunity here. Four balls in the eight ball, and then away, beating top five international player, Jonas Camuno. The seven, four, three. Leaving the seven for last, it looks like. And uh, he might be, uh, he's left handed, so he might be all right here. Stop. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm in. All right. Hey, Lisa's joining us in the booth. How you doing, Lisa? Good, good. How are you? Good, good. Hello, everybody out there. Hope Mike. you're enjoying these match matches. Mike has a chance here. He makes this three ball. Oh. Um, Jonas lost one game. Ew. He shot the wrong ball. He shot the he left the eleven ball on the table and shot the eight ball. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm I forgot I don't know the guy's name who was uh in it, but and then he played Shake and he was so mad, Shake broke and he ran the rack. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, so Jonas was kinda mad. I think he was mad. Not mad, but he plays so good. He does. And too, it's fun. like you say like he was like mad but like not mad. Right. Um He's so well composed and he's never actually aggravated or agitated. Oh. He loves it. It's it's fun for him. He enjoys it. He's gonna show something. It's the best part about playing with him. Absolutely. Got uh six more matches, so it's almost done. He right. just played your nephew. Oh, uh, did he? Yeah. Didn't end up so well for your nephew, but <laughs> <laughs> he's very new to playing. Actually, um, months old. Um, he was coming down here maybe once or twice a month with his buddies after work. Yep. Um, and they were just shooting around for fun, and he's been getting more serious. Jack just came in third in our play for Shaq. Yeah, him that's, and Crystal. That's good stuff. It yeah. was. It definitely gave him a little confidence booster too, because. I've been telling him, I'm like, listen, you got to join a league. You're going to have to join a league when the new session starts. And he's like, I need to practice. I don't know it. But he feels good about it now. He's ready. He'll join. He'll join. Yep. They all do. <laughs> Even you. Hey, it only took a year, but here I am. <laughs> oh. it's a little, I think Mike's asking about which way to run the balls first. I, if I'm me, I got to play that four ball first. Then that's the trouble ball. Like he's saying, maybe play the six first. All the way, that's exactly what he's saying. He's saying play the six first. I think that's the four has a good pocket, so. And you're perfect on that, so. I can three lessons. That's nice too, because Jonas does like to teach people. He really does. He really does. He wants the good for everybody. He wants everybody to be the best player they can be. He's not hiding any secrets. Oh, you really put into the game for sure. Exactly. Right, looks like this is taking hands. Is that his next contestant? Looks like it is. is that, I don't know. Is that Mike the Barber? I can only tell. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I can tell by his walk a little bit. Yep. You can know, see his hand in his walk. I wonder if these guys are nervous playing them. Right. Teddy played him, and Teddy missed the ball that usually doesn't miss. And he said Mike jerked him. 
Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Mars, like our Mike. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Right. There it is. Mix a ball. So that's all you need an opportunity, right? Mm hmm. Right up and rack as well. Yeah, it's a very nice spread on the table. No, don't forget on Monday night, it's, they use the PCA rule so they can shoot whatever he wants. So it doesn't have a ball until he makes a call shot. Looks like he's going after a low ball. Nice draw. Hope too much though. Is that your friend? Yeah, it's my friend. <laughs> Still trying to work with him. <laughs> They're nice, they help you come in handy, but sometimes they make the shots a lot harder. Yeah, I, I do. Oh, great shot. A nice leave for the two ball. Yeah, I notice sometimes when I use the bridge, it works out very well, but I'm not always skilled enough to either put any of like that draw or that top on it. I, my shots are super simple when it comes to using the bridge. Them in. Yeah, just yep, exactly. Just that little extension for a little tap and yep. hope for the best. But I'll get there. Just keep practicing. Absolutely. Short on that one. Jonas is back to the table. That was a good run, though. Table. Oh, position everywhere. Oh, he's making the shots. Move. Got a good position for the eight ball. Front pocket, maybe. No, nope, side pocket. We got five left after this. Good run for Mike, though. I mean, had two balls left before he gave Jonas a chance at the table. Absolutely. Not bad at all, right? And on table eight. Nice tight pockets. I know. Just look look at that pocket all the way down there. Look how tiny it looks. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> so, you know? yeah. so small. You know? If you play on it, it's like really, really tough to play on. Yeah, it's definitely a little yeah. intimidating. You it's know, cool. you got to be right on. It's going for Big clean on four, messing around. Always playing, Jason. Yep. And look how big these pockets are. And these are a little tighter. Yep. We could definitely tell the difference in them. They look enormous. <laughs> <laughs> really not. Little stop shot here. For those of you joining in for uh want to see Jonas, he'll be right back. He'll come back in a second. In between racks to try something to watch. Oh, we're doing he's not in Monday Night League. <laughs> Can't resist though. There's two balls left on the table. He needs them. <laughs> he needs the addiction, that's for sure. Yeah. Nice leave on the bottom table. Shake's gonna have to kick this with a bridge. That's no easy task. 
Oh, you might get lucky here. Nice hit. Good shot. Yeah, Jason's pretty accurate with his shooting, too. Um, I was shooting around with him a couple Mondays ago. Um, actually, even during the Halloween tournament, um, I was just shooting around with him. And um, he's another one that wants to teach you what he knows. He's only been playing a couple years as well, actually. So he's not, he's, he's not a right long-term player, and he's really good for not playing forever. Yep. But he wants to learn, and we uh, joined the Earl Strickland Clinic as well. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, he's going for the bank. Okay. Oh. Right in there. Yeah, Shake did Jonas right after Jonas lost. Mm -hmm. and Shake broke and Jonas just ran the table. <laughs> he wasn't having it, you know? He was, at least it's not upset he lost, but like, can't believe I lost. That's the wrong ball. That's because that's one of those silly mistakes, yep. you know? These black balls make a difference, though. They're hard to tell sometimes. They're solid or stripe or something. They make it a little more. Oh, nice shot right there by Jason. The W. Table three now. Got action everywhere. Oh, no action there. No action at all, Lisa. Mm. There's Kathy, though, and she made some really good s'mores bars for the play for shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When they brought you the plate in just for you. Yeah, she made a special plate. Definitely had those hidden. You want the bag? I think you've got. I think you've got like five more players, which makes sense because we started at six thirty. Because I, th I thought it'd be over by eight thirty. Hmm. What time is it now? Eight twenty-two. Jason's up next. Oh, this will be fun. Yep. Yep, Jason is up next. All right. So far, the most times I've seen him shoot, I think, was three. A couple balls were tied up. I mean, other than that, it's only one or two. I really like this metal rack. Mm -hmm. Jason's racking for himself. Well, Andy wants to know if Jonas will still be around on Friday. He hasn't had a chance to play him yet. Uh, I, I think he's leaving Friday early evening, Andy. I think he's going to a snookers for the tournament. Uh, the Ocean State, that's what it is. I forgot what it's called, but the Ocean State tournament. I think he's leaving Friday. I'm not sure what time. So maybe if you're feeling better on Thursday, come down or, you know, give me a message. Let me know if he's here. I'll definitely have you play him a rack for sure. All right, he made them all on the break, so it is, it is an open table. So a tough shot though. Yeah, it's an interesting spot. Did it make it to ten? Maybe that's what he's looking at now. Looking. They can play the ten into the one. 
you can combo high and low here until you're open table. I mean, until you have a ball. When it's open table, you can use both balls. So. He's really, really looking. Yeah. It's so close. He's not going to go down without a huge fight for this one, for sure. Yeah. And again, the pocket's really, really small, so. <laughs> and he says, <laughs> funny. Oh, let's hit the one ball. What do you think? Of the, do you know what's the difference in the color, Lisa? I do. The balls? I, yeah, I notice it. I feel like I can definitely see the colors a lot better. You even the high balls you can notice. Like that wasn't the biggest thing before when you're playing eight ball. You really couldn't tell. You know, between the thirteen, the fifteen, you know. Yep. And that's not what he wanted to do, is trying to break down a little bit more. I personally kind of like these balls a little better. Yeah. I mean, and I enjoy playing with them. Try to go off the diamond and make this play. All right, Jason, here's your chance. For those of you guys don't know, this is Bobby Hilton with Lisa Zunge. We're at the Shark Stream here in Wallingford, Connecticut, giving you guys top professional. Do you know he's top 20 in the world? That's amazing. It is, right? 20 yeah. years old. Oh, top 20 for the 20 year old. Top twenty for the twenty year old, and technically he's top five in the in the world for the year two thousand twenty three. He came in fifth in the first tour. That's the first tournament of the year of the full year. Okay. Yep. So. Yeah, those are some exciting matches to watch as well. Yeah, they were. And then our buddy Jason Shaw played real well too. He won the whole thing. Yes. Shot by Jason. Yeah, both of them having us on the edge of their seats. What are you going to do here now? You can play the 11 aside. I think I, I think he plays the 12 in the corner first. Comes around the table, then he can play the 13. So he hits the 11 ball now. The cue ball is going to be kind of crazy. You don't know where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. Almost like a pot lock. Shot. Nice and easy. Play the two arrows. Play the 13. Play the two on the deal as well. Jonas still has a trouble ball. That two right next to nine is not easy. Can't really think of a way to break it on two. Might do it here with a lot of bottom ball. He's trying. Seven ball. Oh. That's what he was trying to do. He's trying to get the banking it. Oh. <laughs> Let's watch that one again, Lisa. Oh yeah. Just get it. Again. These are in the tight pocket. Wow. Yep. Great shot by Jonas. Though every position is not, it's not easy. He's gonna have to work for this one. I have no problem with this ball. Again, this is not easy again, but stop it. Yep. Follow the board with this one. Gonna go from left spin. Draw it if he wants to come around. That's going to draw it around. And he's going to be close to perfect. Uh, actually, a little short. I still think he makes it, Lisa. I, yeah, I have full faith in that, too, actually. Oh! Oh, almost a close one. <laughs> Let's watch that one again. Watch 
power behind some of these strokes as well. It's hard to do on the tight table for sure. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, the pace is picking up a little bit. He's smiling, playing with the guys. And uh, I hope, uh, like I was telling everybody earlier, I hope everybody really appreciates, you know, this is such a gift. I mean, to play such a great player and, and we're not charging anybody. Nope. No, it's good old Monday night drop in. I know. With a celebrity appearance. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Never know what you're going to get with Monday Madness, right? Right. <laughs> so true. Yep. Tough shot here for Jonas. He doesn't have a ball to shoot at, really. He's looking at it. Really doesn't have much. Much to play with here. Maybe the six ball. A lot of green though, you know. He's gonna try to cut this four ball in. Wow. <laughs> That's a fantastic <laughs> shot. I wanna watch that one again. All right, guys, I want you guys to look at this angle. Appreciate the shot on this. I mean, this is he's back against the rail and he reverse cuts it and it goes center pocket. What a great shot. And of course, he, he does have a shot, and I think he's going to run this rack here, Lisa. Seven, two, one, three, eight. Seven, two, one, three, eight is what I'm thinking. Spin it around. He didn't try to do that, so yeah, he's trying to get around that nine ball. So he might have to shoot the three now. I have to do another good shot now, though. Making good shots, but now he's gonna have to. I don't know if he's gonna shoot the three. Oh, you sure? He's gonna call the bank, so he's gonna try to kick it in. He's gonna hit the rail first and kick the cue ball in. The one that is just off. Just missed it. Oh, look at this! Look at him. That's awesome. <laughs> look at his face. Uh, calling cross side. I think he can play this in the corner, but he almost feels. Not bad, but the way he made that ball, he's going to maybe give a slight opportunity. All right, he's got one opportunity now. Gentleman's name, you listen. I'm brain farting right now, but I'll just do normally. There's a couple feet light. Really on the newer side to here. Um, we've been here a few times before. We've had a bunch of new faces, actually, in the Monday night drop-in. He says, where do I go? Shoot that 15 first. Maybe this one on the key. 15 is the easiest shot. You got to get going. And uh, you got to get position. So it looks like he's going to go the other way. Play the 13 first. Oh, nice shot. Check. Might have caught a little trouble next to that side pocket. Oh, look. Oh, he said too hard. Oh, he's going to leave. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. That's what it's all about. What's he going to do here? Pump it. For opportunity. Mm -hmm. They're both being a little animated now. Yep. They're having fun. Yep. That's what Monday night's all about. It's about having fun, meeting people, getting to play against all different skill levels. Your higher handicaps help the lower handicaps. 
They see you doing something, they tell you. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Okay, hey, we're getting ready to start again in another minute. I think he's got a couple more matches. Bring back. Hi, I'm Lisa Zanish, manager at Yale Billiards. Come join us on the Shark Street. Colby. I'm Reed, founders of Salado. Join us on the shark screen. Scott Rupert, join us on the shark screen. Alex Kazakis, join us on the sunscreen. Hi, I'm Nick Kroll, owner of Viking Cues. We want you to join us on the shark screen. Jason Shaw, join us on the shark screen. Hello, my name is Christina Touch. Join us on the shark screen. Hi, I'm Jose Prembata Reyes. Remind you of good details on shark screen. Hi, I'm Earl Strickland. Join us on the shark screen. I'm Bobby Hilton, the owner of Yale Billiards. Join us on the Shark Stream. All right, just waiting for a couple more players here. <clears throat> All right, I like that. Hit the like button. I like it. Yeah, if you guys are on YouTube, make sure you follow us on uh, YouTube as well. And uh, if you're on Facebook, make sure you like, like the page. You know, let's get these numbers up. You know, we're doing a lot of big things here. A lot of big things. As Bobby says, boom, make it happen. Get those shares and likes going. Like and share, hit the buttons. Hit the button. What movie was that? Rush Hour. Come on, press the button. Press the button. Funny movie. Funny movie. Anybody got any score in a Monday night game? All right, looks like we are ready to go with our next opponent. Mike talked a little strategy, how to, how to beat this guy. Mike's like, I had an opportunity. I could have took him down. I just missed a shot. Four. Nothing going on table four, huh? Now that Liga is almost over, four is almost over. I think we only have a couple more matches for Jonas, and then uh, we'll be out of here. Are we looking at at least? Um, <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> um, good. So this is Bob here at the table. Jonas has two matches left. Bob and then Kathy. That's it? Yes. Okay. Very, very nice. Yeah. Hope we told him, let's get the pictures with this guy. Yeah. I mean, this guy is a 
think he's going to be a future future world class player. He's already right there now, but I mean, he's going to be a world world multi world champion. I think. Yeah, this is what he's doing at twenty. Like, I can only imagine what he's going to be doing at 30, 40. Exactly. And his demeanor is not like he wants to go out and party. Or he just wants to play pool. Yes. I know. Want to come in? Come on, in, Mike. Do you watch Mike? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, so this is Mike Marzik, and he's going to cry or whatever. I don't have any tissues. But what happened out there, Mike? I actually played a really good safe. Yeah. 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 Just choked at the last ball. Yep. He even said it. He goes, you should have made that ball. I said, yes, I should have made that ball. Thank you. for You're with Bobby. <laughs> Bobby telling me that on a Tuesday night. I do. I do. And I just want you to know, you know we're kind of badasses, Mike. I don't know if we'll ever be as badass as this guy, Bob. I said Tattoo uh, on his he's head. Run for the money, too. And he's got a tattoo on the back of his head. And he's That's a great pretty shot. badass. It's a man. Yeah. <laughs> Jonas is awesome. He's just a good guy. He is, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's Genuine. Yeah. So what was he um showing you after your match? What you should have did? What he he told me the run out I should have taken instead of the run out I did. Yeah, a lot of people were saying you took the seven, you should have took the seven first. He so said they actually was it seven? Yeah, seven. Seven down yeah. by the end. Yep. It was either seven or the four first. You played the two first in the middle. I played in the middle only because I figured if I got off, I had options. Yeah. Where so I, lack of confidence. Yeah. It's all and then I should have made the three ball. I shouldn't have missed that yeah. ball. Yeah, absolutely. It's a cut shot that anybody should have made. But... Yeah. So we agreed I'd give him a, a diet regimen. and He would give me free lessons, so I'm taking him up on that. <laughs> that was the first thing he said to me when I walked in. He goes, We'll trade. I said, Okay, I'll trade. That's worth my time. Yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, he's, yeah he's big into health now. He definitely wants to get healthy for sure. He's going to Puerto Rico for a couple weeks after he's playing this weekend. Then he's taking off. He said, Yep, yeah, he's going to uh, the Ocean State in Rhode Island. Yeah. And then he's going to uh, Puerto Rico for that. That's a world eight ball title. So, kind of good practice for him, you know, even though it's uh, not that level. But, yep. Uh, you know he lost one rack, right? Yeah, I heard. I he, saw he just got wrong, the wrong he ball. The wrong ball. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here. The eleven ball still on the table. Yeah. But no one told him. He didn't do it. Makes it nice because he's so personable. So that you know, talk to anybody. So yep. you know, whatever the twenty three people he's playing, he's talking to everyone. Yeah. Whether it's giving a pointer or just just to be nice. Yeah. Good stuff. Right now he's playing with uh, Jamie's daughter. You know, you know what I mean. He's a good, yeah. he's just a good guy. Yeah, no, he's good around the our dogs too. He's like he's just he is a good kid. Talent man, he's younger Lucas. than Lucas. Yeah, incredible. I know. And I know you saw it. So the bank shot he made on me. Yeah, he well, called that. Man. Yeah, I know he did. Oh, I know he did. I I, so, I seen that shot. Because the people around were like, oh, it's lucky. I no, 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 no. He, he played that. I know that shot. I replayed yeah. it. Yeah, he he's that's we're gonna probably Joe and I will probably go back and um, cut that out and be like this is such Scott Jones shot. made on Marzik. Yeah. <laughs> no shame. I mean, yeah, it was such a good shot. It really was. I got my chance. I I had him behind two like in between two balls. And so, he was gonna so that shot, he looked at me and said he was gonna double jump it. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus, <laughs> let's see this. I mean I wanted to see it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's just a What's um uh, what's chicken saying? Oh, who's that this? Yeah, that's Brian Chicken. What's he saying? Uh, players should be taking note of the good fortunes that coincide with their commitments to be on the Shark Street. Look what happened to Oi. He finishes third at the U.S. Open. Jason Shaw plays on the Shark Stream, then wins Turning Stone, and the International. Jonas finishes eighth. Carl gets picked for Moscone. <laughs> Jonas actually finished fifth okay, in the eighth. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, chicken. When you play on the shark stream, it just makes you better. I agree. Sort of slogan with that, right? Four is a little trouble here. Play the seven to come across. Maybe use the five to break. Oh, he missed it. Now the four is. Look at this tattoo right there. Boom. I got to give him a boom for that one. <laughs> that tattoo something else, man. That's great. Might live it off there, but 
No, nah, he left him kind of safe, kind of safe right there. Bob's no slouch. If he gets uh, comfortable, he's definitely gonna make some balls out of it. Needs to. Now he's also always talking. Dark over the yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, kicking chicken. I appreciate those words, and uh, we'll spread that out. You know, maybe get some more people to the shark stream. That's for sure. That worked out really good for him because he tied up two of Bob's balls, and uh, his balls are wide open. Again, this is what you're talking about, just being personable. Yeah. He's not like, all right, hurry up, let's go. I want to get done. He's like, let's let's play, you know. And I like it, too, because, like, when I miss that ball, he's like, come on, baby. <laughs> and then he spent a few minutes, you know, playing. Oh. And he says, we need to get Kelly Fisher and Alex Isakis. So definitely... Alex already kind of committed. Uh, if he has the time, he definitely said he will. Um, Kelly, I haven't talked to yet. So, and she's she's just busy. She's just she's the best player in the world for females, and she's, she beat almost half the men. She's so good. I would like to get her on here for sure. All right, Jonah's gonna draw this ball back. Or follow it up on rail. Four six eight. Who do we appreciate? Two minutes. Spit it back out on him. All right, Bob. Let's take him to the woodshed. That's a good start. One at a time, right? I think there's a safety maybe here. I was going to try to get this four ball out of there. Shot actually. No, I didn't want to make it though. Yeah, Jonas says I'm gonna try to get it. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> All right. Looks like this is it for Bob. So we got one more match, guys, and we're gonna let you go. So hey, Jonas is playing uh our Monday Night Madness, our drop-in league, if you will, and uh, he's pretty much taken down everybody except one ball he made a mistake on. He shot the wrong ball. And again, talking to Bob, just being cordial, being polite. You know. He's able to find uh, Kathy, and she's ready to go. It's like league's almost winding down, right? Yeah, there wasn't much left. Yeah, there's not much. It's like every table I turn to is like. For how many people? It went pretty quick, honestly. There's Kathy right there. So let's watch her. She'll play Jonas next. Kathy's playing Shake, I think. Yeah. So uh, Jake played Jonas right after he made that mistake. And uh, he broke and he just ran. <laughs> He's like, I have Jake, into Poor Jake had the revenge match. No, he wasn't. It. And he goes, he goes, you know what? Teddy was asking to play him first. I should have let Teddy play first. Yeah. <laughs> nice colors in the balls, right? Yeah, yeah actually. It's popping. Right? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, Joe, Joe and uh, yeah, it's clear. Andy did some things. Very clear. Oh, no. All right, Kathy. Show us your stuff. Good to see her back playing. She was in an accident. Hurt her leg really bad. Yep. And honestly, she came last Monday and she showed up. Why? Why she's back today? All good. So she'll start a little limb, kind of like favored it, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Play the bank and just cut this ball in. She did. Yeah, didn't get it, but it's a real good try. As she said, I was trying to get on the other side. Right. 
Looks pretty good here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Did he hit that? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> How about that? I mean, I need those points because Kathy's on my team. <laughs> We'll find out how many she needs to get against Jonas, and then we'll, uh... All right, yeah. And tell, tell her we're ready to go so we can get this going. I yeah. appreciate that. How about that? That was awesome. I wasn't expecting that. No, not at all. Oh, there's your cousin. I mean, uh, nephew. And uh, Mike's walking by, getting ready to get it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Going to give you guys a quick commercial. always been able to find anything you need with a smartphone. Now you can use it to find a game of pool with the Salado app. Anywhere, anytime. You can even host a game, tournament, or lesson, and make money. See where you stack up against all the other players worldwide in the Salado ranking system. Use your ranking to qualify for invitationals, large payout tournaments and events. The pool table is your arena, your stadium, your court. It's harder than people think, but you don't care. The only way to get to the next level is to play more. The more you play, the more you win. Salado is the world's premier pool community, uniting players everywhere. Connect with the community, find and host games, and keep your stats. Pool isn't just a game, it's a lifestyle. Join Salado today to find your game. Oh, it looks like we're already ready to go. They're ready. So it looks like uh, Kathy broke. This is not easy. There's some balls tied up there. Eight balls tied up. Now the 13 balls kind of tied up. Trying to reverse cut it. 14 balls tied up. That's really good, man. Thank you very much, Don. I really appreciate that. He broke up the eight. All right. right. These balls all stuck together in the middle of the table. He's playing on tight pocket. Look at that. Look how tight that pocket is. Yeah. It don't matter. Sorry, Kathy. There it is. All right, guys, we're going to say good night, Lisa. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining me in the booth today, Lisa. Thank you for having me. See you guys later. We want to give a shout out to all of our sponsors here on the Shark Stream. We have Connecticut APA, Sigma Wear, Agency One Group, Jacoby Custom Cues, Women in Pool, Mabel's Tables at Michael's Deli. NM Billiard Sales and Service, 11 Hall Avenue, Wallingford, Connecticut, KM Maintenance, JT's Pool Q Repair, Slaughter App, Mark Anthony Home Improvements, Tommy's Tattoo Supply, Jimmy's Auto Service, Joe Master Billiards, Aramith Balls, Organic Tattoo, Vacu Lease, Tween and Fiber Corp, Harriman Real Estate, Pool Table Magic, Ben Strong, K Morgan, Man Cave Memories, and of course, Viking Cues, Simonis Cloth, and Andy Gow. This is Bobby saying, boom, without you, 